Arthur 是今年入围英语书人奖的五位作者之一。他的作品在我所见过的每张脸，是叙述一个平凡无奇的伦敦客安东尼，在这个五光十色大都会里典型的一天。只是很不幸的，在这天深夜里，安东尼因为逛妓院而被卷入了一桩谋杀案。在全书的一开始。读者随着陪审团没有特别心理准备的进入法庭，直到故事的最后，才听到检证双方充分的辩词。卡莱特触及到的是男女问题、种族问题、人际、文化乃至于社会的问题。难怪英国《泰晤士报》对本书大力推荐，称它是一部充满了人性、个性的优秀作品。I often write about London and about the state of the nation, and I was keen to write about a specific time. Because it struck me as being a very important time and a change of attitude, mm -hmm. <coughs> and that, so that's I decided to just try and write in one day, the life of a reasonably ordinary person. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say if people compared with Ulysses, the James Joyce work? I wish it could be compared with Ulysses, but yeah. they. It, and funny enough, you're the first person who's actually pointed that out. It did occur to me that a yeah. day in London and mm. one intense day in somebody's life. Mm. And there are other books like that, of course, but I, I was trying to honestly capture what I took to be one person's thoughts. And obviously, then there's the theme of meeting mm. what we call the underclass, the criminal underclass in this country, mm -hmm. and just seeing a clash of values. 为了达到这个目的，卡莱特特地到南伦敦治安最差的几个地区去收集意象与资料。而在我所见过的《每张脸》这本书，之所以有极高的阅读和娱乐价值，则更要归功于他对人物塑造的可信度。例如，陪审团的成员之一、自由作家朱利恩·卡帕尔便是一个例子。I don't do much freelance writing. I do some freelance journalism, but obviously I'm aware of what goes on in that world. And you know, it's like a lot of human endeavour. You start out thinking, "Well, I'll conquer the world. I'll do some journalism. I'll be editor of the Times by the end of the week, or something." And it's a process. In this case, process of disillusionment that's set in. And Julian Capers, I think, a kind of person you meet a lot in society who's、yeah. disappointed. You know, nothing's、yeah. quite worked for him, and he,、mm -hmm. he has his own what we would call agenda. So he has his own、mm -hmm. way of、right. looking at things, which is not quite what true. You know. 卡莱特出生于南非，在美国接受一年的高等教育，然后转到英国，毕业于牛津大学。在接受本台记者专访的时候，他说，在南非的所见所闻，深深影响了他的作品，也扩大了他的视野。I think that living in South Africa, being brought up in South Africa, has influenced me deeply and still influences me. It's if you are brought up in Africa, particularly South Africa, there's certain you see life in a very different way than people who exclusively brought up, say, in Europe or America. And that has influenced me enormously.、Uh, and my, I only really was in America for a year, so that wasn't a huge influence.、Mm -hmm. But yes, it's influenced me. So a lot of the themes in my books are do have some connection with Africa.、Yeah. So that's why Anthony's hero is Mandela. That's true. But in a way, it was because I felt that at that time in 1990,、mm -hmm. just before Mandela was released, and because things had changed in England and Britain. A lot. Culture had changed a lot from a market economy. Perhaps I thought people were looking for heroes, so I took one particular time, and the most obvious hero of our times, I think, is Nelson Mandela. So, Anthony always hoped for the release of Mandela, to bring him back to his senses. But for the hero of the hero, he could not reduce his sadness in his life. So, do you think Anthony is guilty? You know, although he didn't pull the trigger.、Um, no, I, I don't think so. I think that.、Um, Uh, what I tried to do at the end was, you get one side of the story, which、yeah. is the Anthony side of the story, and then obviously you get another side of the story when you go to the court case. You know the story that the jury see,、mm -hmm. and there was another side that perhaps these were two drunk, unlovely, unlikable men out on an evening,、mm -hmm. you know, and and it ended tragically, and it wouldn't have if they had been more sensitive or less drunk or whatever. But I think, in, to be honest, my sympathies are with Anthony and his friend Mike. I think、uh, that, and I think that there is a compassionate ending to to the book. 是的，在我所见过的每张脸，便是这样一部充满了戏剧张力和感情的小说。正如乔斯汀·卡莱特之前所曾写过的五部作品，全部都是巨力万钧的新血结晶。其中，《马赛梦幻》更在美国掀起了一阵南非研究热潮。因此，目前卡莱特正应了英国广播协会 BBC 之邀，一面拍摄有关南非的纪录片，一面着手撰写一本更深入的专书。像这样一位认真思考人生与人性的作者，虽然他今年并没有得到书人奖。
，相信他的才华还是会永远受到肯定的。